Welcome to another episode, guys. This week we're in Ambon, Maluku, Indonesia. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, put a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let's go. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. So we arrived last night into Amber and we came in, uh, we think we dropped the anchor around 1 a.m. Um, so we came in in the dark, had to navigate our way in, but we did have a track from last time we've been here, so that was helpful. And um, there's heaps of rubbish coming in, lots of little fishing boats, but they all had lights that they turn on if we got close to them and uh, we got led in by some dolphins for a little bit so that was cool um, but yeah we're in Amber now we got here safely so we've just arrived in Ambon guys and we're going through our provision locker um, checking all of our provisions and seeing what we need before we head off to Raja Ampat so from here we're going to head up to Masul and Raja Ampat and be quite remote for a little while so we're going to need our provisions all stocked up and so that's what we're doing we're just going through seeing what we have and what we need to get here in Ambon we'll go to the supermarket and stock up so we can uh, go and be remote for a little while and have plenty of food but we've done pretty well we don't need too much it's mostly just fresh fruit and veggies but we will stock up on on flour and um, things that we need so we are getting organized this morning and writing a list so we can go to town and get all our provisions done uh, so we've been in Ambon for a day and um, we're meeting our friend Lee's just gonna pick up our friend that we met here three years ago and um, he's coming out to see us and have a coffee and I think he's bringing his ukulele and his son Lincoln Today we're heading out with Nico, our friend in Ambon. We haven't seen for three years, so it's pretty exciting. And as usual, his hospitality, he's taken us around the island and we're gonna explore some new things. So if you watched our episode last time on Ambon, he took us to hot springs, took us to restaurants here, there and everywhere. He's taking us, is, um, Ambon is the city of music in Indonesia. So we're going to see a guy who makes ukuleles and flutes and violins out of bamboo. So, and other places, but I'm not sure where else we're going. So we're just going to go meet Nico and he's going to take us all around. Because apparently, uh, when was it the Dutch and Portuguese? So apparently it was one of the two there, I think, had brought the uh, ukuleles in. And I think that's where they reckon here was one of the first places to get the ukulele. So it was uh, introduced by the Portuguese or the Dutch back way back in the uh, Spice Run days. Back so. in the day here in Ambon is where it all started and began, in Indonesia anyway. It's a cool so, little place, so let's go see what they got. Let's go see what's on offer in Ambon today. Good help out there. So we're coming onto the beach and uh, we go to town from here. Last night we were walking along here and Bella saw a snake, didn't you? And I had a fish jump up at my leg. <laughs> a fish. <laughs> Something slimy. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I thought it maybe came out of a puddle that we've walked through. Oh. <laughs> it may not have been a fish. So some of us are going to go in the car, some of us are going to be on bikes. Me and you on a bike, baby. Oh yeah.
This is Mr. Eggy. He's a musician who makes instruments out of bamboo at his home. Ukuleles, flutes, violins, and more. Oh, the drum? Yeah, it's like a tifa. It's a two sound. Come, It's a nice sound, yeah? Can you play the violin too, Nico? I know. <laughs> <laughs> For ancient years, yeah. But play, no. <laughs> Sounds I'm, nice. I'm, I'm a man, no violin. <laughs> With this uh, bamboo flute, we can play all uh, keys. Ah. Yeah. Just well, that's a one. great sound. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it. <laughs> The kids all got to make their very own bamboo flute. Yeah, that's good. So push it all the way in? Yes. today that he can't yeah. play the flute. <laughs> <laughs> practice with the flutes though. Thank you. 
Taj bought a ukulele as he thought he might have better hope playing that. These are Mr. Eggy's students. They're coming to play ukulele. Have lessons. Bye bye. I'm halfway through playing around with a little idea here. Um, this is an ASCII lid and the ASCII box is over there and that's going to be my new box for the dive compressor. So the original way we had it up, can't show you because I've already started and Sarah hasn't got it on film but I'll take you up the front and show you the bag. Our original bag we left Australia with, it just doesn't seal up properly. I put it on a timber base, it's all rotten. so. I'm going to can this idea because our compressor is just getting nailed. The um, salt water, um, it's not a lot but it's the moisture and the salt and the environment up here so I thought I just want to try and preserve our compressor because it's one of those little things on Catalpa which uh, we really enjoy doing which is scuba diving and without that we can't fill our tanks so better late than never. This actually fits to the millimetre, I've had to just we did have handles on here, I've just cut them down. I've got to cut the other handles down and then I'm going to mount the lid to the deck and then the esky lid, the esky itself will go over the top. It's a tight fit. I think we'll make that work. Got to align all that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a bit of that, a bit of that. There we have it. So all that is, is an esky upside down with our compressor bolted on the top. Because if we put this down in a locker or downstairs, we tend to be lazy by nature and not put it up on the deck and fill our tanks. So this way, if it's up on the deck, it's always ready to go. It should just come like that. You can use that as a bucket to rinse our gear. Oh, perfect. I'm a genius. And we've actually, I was trying to buy a bucket the other day so we could rinse our gear, that'll be perfect. So, we've come to Amahusu this afternoon, and um, Nico's got all, the, all his students here, and the kids are going to play ukulele with the Ambon kids. Zaya Namatash. My name is Liam. My name is Ali. <laughs> Australian teenagers were very popular having photos and even an interview with the local television. Thank you Nico for a wonderful afternoon.